Hey, hey, hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Ari. I'm Ant. I'm Louise. What are we doing? That's it. So today, I asked our followers and people what kind of image or stereotype you have towards the, your home <laughs> country. Ah, Japanese people's image. Yeah. About oh, our okay. 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 That's cool. <laughs> Bring it up. Yeah, so I need to know if they're true or what you have to say about it. So. Yeah, I'm actually kind of scared. What if, you know? Okay. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. America first. Uh, I knew we were going to start. Nah, I knew, I knew that too, actually. Japanese yeah. friendly. Mm. Americans are friendly? No. <laughs> um, sort of. I, I would say Americans are social. Mm. Ah. Uh -huh. So that can mean friendly, but sometimes they're not friendly. <laughs> not so, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And we got, they eat hamburgers every day. Of course. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, not every day, but yeah, we, we eat quite a lot. At least once a week? Me? Probably. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got, stark contrast between the rich and the poor. Oh, contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes. There is a huge wealth gap in America. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could be walking down the street, it could be sunshine, birds chirping, nice homes, and then you turn the corner and now it's all cloudy and things are like broken and dirty, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What I, 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 I yeah. yeah, I see, I see, mm. I see. And we got having parties every weekend. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> any holiday and we make it into a party holiday, so yeah. Really? But the, the biggest difference is we do our parties a lot of times at our homes. The mm -hmm. homes are big mm -hmm. enough, so you have house parties, and so those are really common. And we got always chewing gum. Oh, oh Germans and Greek people also think that Americans always chew gum. Really? really? Yeah. I'm going to say no on that. French yeah. people chew gum a lot, so I think that's why we don't have the image, maybe. I mean, people do it, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's like common thing yeah, yeah. the next one they think of themselves as world leaders Ooh. oh wow that's deep okay um i think i understand what they mean by that yes yeah. uh -huh. um, not to speak badly on america but i will say there is a little bit of a superiority complex mm. they think they're on the top so we have that in europe too 100 yeah. percent. we don't have that image abroad but i know europeans think the same way yeah yeah, yeah. Japanese people do like we, we think like Japan is the best country sometimes. Yeah. Mm. We're like, yeah, we are from Japan. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I think we're just all proud of yeah. where we're from. Next. So wearing short sleeves all year round. <laughs> <laughs> um, Please answer and tell me what's up. There no, there are a lot of people who do that. Good. And, 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 and jacket mm. and short pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would say a t-shirt is a stretch. Especially if it's like super cold. But shorts, there are plenty of people that will wear a jacket and shorts if it's snowing. I have to say, my dad wears sandals all year round, even if it's snowing. That's are no you serious? Me. I think so. <laughs> no for me. So lastly, we got they respect individuality. Mm. Yeah, America's probably the most individual country that mm. there is. Definitely so. Yeah. Like if they have different fashion, different opinions, they respect that too. Yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, the way I Im imagine or view the whole individuality is that we care more about ourselves first mm -hmm. than the others. And so I would say America is like the opposite of Japan. For Japan, it's about the community, uh, the community yeah. everybody. The w we think about mm. what's best for us first and not mm -hmm. so much everyone else suffers. Makes sense. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. So, first one we got serious. Serious? Yeah, German serious. people are serious, yeah, 100%. Oh, serious? Oh, oh, serious, 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 really? serious, yeah. German people are extremely serious. I think it depends on which area in Germany, the south where I'm from, people are serious. I, I think you really see people actually like smiling and laughing and stuff. People are really serious. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that comes from, but people are serious. It's true. Which is so funny because the second one was they don't smile. Yeah, they <laughs> do not. Like, do you smile yeah. when you're in Germany? I don't think I or do, do man. Them? I don't think. You're trying not to reveal too much emotions to the outside, I feel. But, you know, that's very, again, it's a stereotype that is sort of true, but it's not every human like mm. that in yeah. Germany is like this. I don't know. What What's your serious is. face? You're just, you're just chilling. <laughs> I, I don't know if I... Was that serious enough? No. That was serious? I, could, I don't know. 
All right, next one. Um, they're mostly handsome men and beautiful women. Oh, yeah, okay. handsome men. Definitely handsome. One. Okay, okay, okay. One hundred percent not. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent not. There are some good-looking people. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I think Germans have the perfect image of what people in Asia think. Like yep. they are tall, blue eyes, mm -hmm. uh, blonde mm -hmm. hair. Uh, I understand why they say that, but yeah. no way, man. I I totally disagree with like mm -hmm. everyone looks like that. So next one actually, it's they're tall. Mm -hmm. They are, they are. Mm -hmm. I'm one seventy three. And I'm considered short in, in Germany. All my friends are taller. Uh, average, I think, is for male, um, around 180, like 178, 179. Average? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For male. 180? Yeah, mm. yeah around 180. Oh. My, my friends are all like 178. My best friend is like 181. Mm. Like, that's quite average, yeah. Uh, they drink beer daily. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah, it's, it's Yeah, m most of the people yeah. drink beer every day. Also, in that's their lunch average. break, they do that. Yeah. But... Yeah. Let me say this, wine is as equally as popular as beer, mm -hmm. which most people don't know. Everyone thinks beer, everyone mm -hmm. thinks beer is the best, but German people also love wine, especially okay. French wine, actually, so. Yeah. Neighbors. Neighbors, yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> is <laughs> question, <laughs> uh, is the beer generally cheaper than the water? Uh, in say. restaurants, yes. Yeah. A bottle of water is around eight euro, which is about 1,000 yen. Beer is like 230 mm. uh, euro. Right, which is uh, very cheap. Okay, next one. They are always shouting. Shouting? <laughs> what? I think that's like, the language uh, thing. Like, yeah, yeah, so they don't shout, but they're complaining a lot. You know, people in Japan like to complain as well, I think. Mm. But the way of complaining mm. is different. True. Like Japanese people still have a little bit like, mm, yeah. I don't know about that. But the Germans, they complain straight up. I don't like that. That should be different. You should change that. <laughs> like that. So it can be... Mm. Yeah, sound very harsh, actually. So. Okay. So, philosophical and logical. Uh, oh. Yeah, definitely. And Germans also are very proud of their philosophy. Because of the vocabulary, the uh. German... They are very precise, mm. right? So whenever they go into any topic in philosophy, then they go really deep. Mm. So uh, I think, yeah, yeah, it's true. I think. Lastly, we got their artistic. Mm, yeah, some, yeah, um, we're Europeans, so in the way that we... <laughs> we, Europeans. <laughs> we're Europeans. A lot of freedom in art, 100%. Mm -hmm. We love the freedom of art. I would say Berlin is definitely the hotspot for art in Europe, I would say, even right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, it draws also many people from abroad to actually go to Berlin and become photographers mm -hmm. or uh, videographers and models, etc. I agree. Alright, France. <laughs> uh, let's right, see. So yeah. we got uh, they're fashionable. Ah, yeah, that that's always a difficult one for me. <laughs> I hear it all the time. It's like, are you talking about Paris or about France? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you mean just like really love fashion and put a lot of effort, then no. A lot of people just wear the same thing every day. It just it's just a different T-shirt. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, man, in Paris is center of fashion, so yeah. that's a bit different. That's the image we have about Paris yeah. too. Beautiful cities and streets. S streets. Yeah, I agree. Actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I mean, it's a European type of mm -hmm. beautiful city. After one year living in Japan, when I was in Paris, I was like, oh. Paris is beautiful, mm -hmm. and not because Japan is not, because it's so different. Mm -hmm. It's so old and classic. You I know? understand, totally understand. So yeah. I, I, I agree, it's very beautiful. Yeah. They have high pride. Ooh. <laughs> I always say that, actually, that's my fault, I guess. But I, I do think we have a high pride. I think it connects to what we said before. Yeah. Mm. But I think, like, even if we keep that pride, our new generation are more open to like learning about new countries like a lot of people love japan they love the us and so i think it's coming down <laughs> they bread and drink wine every day okay it's together i mean we we do eat bread i think almost every day mm. i love bread and then wine wine it depends and i didn't drink wine in france but i think a lot of people especially when they invite someone over when you have family dinner in that case you will open a bottle of wine mm -hmm. especially if it's dinner but also for lunch yeah, depends but 
not far off, I guess. Mm -hmm. Many pickpockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's like, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's welcome yes. to Europe, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> <Anyways. laughs> it's like, if you don't know, they will target you because it's very easy to spot you. Um, they're picky. Picky? Picky about what? Just... Everything? Ah, uh, okay, okay, so... maybe I know why. <laughs> <laughs> she got the idea. Ah, uh, uh, ah, yeah. okay. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say picky. I would say that a lot of French people are very particular about coffee is only French coffee. American coffee is water. Or like, uh, you know, like we love the classic. Uh -huh. So I don't know if that's being picky, but kind of like they love the original style that we had in France. We don't want new things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I don't, think we, I don't think we are romantic. The city is romantic. The country is romantic. The people? Don't you think French guys? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Mm. Like, it's the same everywhere. Some people are romantic, mm. some, some are, are not, not right? Yeah, okay. So, lastly, we got they love Japanese anime. <laughs> yes, yeah. I think so. Not only France, but France love anime, manga, Japanese culture. Of course, again, it's not everyone, but I would say like, I live in a pretty small city, but we have at least two anime related shops. No way. And every city you go, almost there will be like a manga shop and it works. It get bigger and bigger. Like the one in my city used to be pretty small. I went back. It was way bigger. Mm. <laughs> you know. They broadcast just Japanese animes. Yes, yes. Mm. So it's pretty big in France. Okay, that's it. Uh, I love that video actually yeah. because we heard stereotypes from each yeah. other, which mm. was incredibly nice. Like some match actually. Yes, with... yeah. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you have more stereotypes about us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know and we can answer or whatever if they're true or not. <laughs> like the video if you want to see more. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell button, and see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. bye. You know, Texas or whatever. Like they, there's so many things. I don't know. Arizona. <laughs> Texas. Okay, yeah. No. Texas. <laughs>